David Vitter was running for governor. He's a sitting senator uh, in uh, Louisiana, and uh, you know he had some issues in his past with prostitution scandal that he admitted to, and then there was a prostitution scandal specifically in Louisiana that he didn't admit to, which uh, had some interesting details. So uh, he nonetheless brazenly ran uh, his campaign again on family values. Now it wasn't working. Uh, he had to go to a runoff. Uh, and in fact, in the first round of voting in Louisiana, uh, he was losing to Edwards, who is his Democratic opponent. Uh, now, Edwards is a conservative Democrat in Louisiana, so Vitter thought, well, the family values thing isn't working that well. Uh, runoff is coming up, and it was this weekend. So let me go to my Republican bag of tricks and run some good old fear mongering ads uh, where we tell you that the Syrian refugees are coming for you. So let's watch that ad. One of the Paris ISIS terrorists entered France posing as a Syrian refugee. Now, Obama's sending Syrian refugees to Louisiana. David Vitter warned Obama the dangers of Syrian refugees weeks ago and promised as governor, no Syrian refugees will enter Louisiana. John Bell Edwards has pledged to work with Obama to bring Syrian refugees to Louisiana. I supported the president. He always does. John, John, John Bell Edwards, a Democrat, actually is a human being who cares about other human beings. Let's go get him. Sorry to report, David Vitter, it didn't work. The good people of Louisiana over the weekend decided to drop the people's elbow right on top of Vitter's head. Boom. 56 to 44, John Bell Edwards, the Democrat, will be your new governor in Louisiana. It has not been a good week for Louisiana Republicans. First, Bobby Jindal saying, ah, who was I kidding? <laughs> of course, I'm not running for president. Not even close. I got to go. I got to go get rest and tan. <laughs> and then now, uh, here he is, David Vitter, Vitterman <laughs> himself. He thought it was going to be a cakewalk. All the analysts and the pundits said, oh, Vitter's got this locked up. Oh, in Louisiana, the Republicans are definitely going to win. Instead, over the weekend, they had to report. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah. Down goes Vitter. Down goes Vitter. Oh, that's what caused him problems in the first place. <laughs> okay. He went down and he never got up. Na, 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 na. Well, the good news for David Vitter is now he'll have plenty of time for prostitution.